Hey everybody, this is Brad. Um, as you know, I was cut off by a car on my motorcycle a couple of months ago and lost the use of my right arm, which is my main arm. So I've been a couple of months out of drumming. But the good news is that I have rigged up myself the a little electric kit because I um, just got myself a gig two months. Then in the summer is my comeback gig. So just rented a little crappy electric kit just to figure out what I'm going to be doing. And uh, after a couple of days of trial and error and arranging kits in different ways, I think I finally figured it out. So I want to show you guys what I've come up with. So I'll start you with the tour here. As you can see, if you look to the bottom, um, I've got quite a few extra pedals than normal. Um, I've got here, I've got a snare drum trigger now on the foot that runs on the foot. And then I've got, um, this is simulating where my double kick pedal will be. I don't have a double kick right now, but this is just simulating so I can get the feel of it. And then I have hi-hat right here, which is which is always closed. Why the weight's on it? Because because I'm now using my left foot to do my snare drum. I don't have this foot available to hold down my hi-hat all the time, so it needs to be permanently held down. When I do have my um, acoustic kit, which you'll see pictures of in the video, um, you'll see I have two hi-hats. I have one that's always closed and one that's always open. So um, that way I don't even have to worry about what I'm doing with the hi-hats because they're set up ready and I have the one open one if I want to use my foot to do a little ch 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 I have the availability to do that. So I'll start it up here. So um, as you know traditional style if you're right handed you play with the hi-hat on the left and it's right right arm over left and you're playing around towards um, this way. So what I, after I was trying to figure it out, putting my hi-hat hi -hat over there and trying to play around that, but I came up with the idea of, well, if I'm left-handed now, i got to play like a left-handed drummer. So what I've done is move my hi-hat over here. Now this is tom one, tom two, and my floor tom is now down here. So for those of you who don't know, it was hi-hat here, tom one, tom two, and floor tom. But as you can see, if I'm going like this and I'm stretching around here, it doesn't make much sense as if I'm here and I'm coming around here. I have all this range of motion as opposed to this. So I'll show you what I'm doing. So if you take a look at my feet, kick, snare drum. So I can use both of them now. So if I want to just thrash it on my open hi-hat, I can just do... really good so I can do that and then also that allows me to do things like a really great dynamic that I like using is snare and crash cymbal on the same thing which I couldn't do before because that's a two-handed movement but now it's I can do that which is a great sound so I can do much what I'm doing and then I've got double kick here so um, I've, you can't really see what I'm doing but it'll be something like um, I'd be able to show you it's gonna sound like a snare but it'll be like it'll be like so I'll be able to do like a, a double of fill up the fills a little bit with And obviously that would sound like this, because this is gonna, this would be a kick, not a snare drum sound. So that's really what what it boils down to. I've got kick, snare, and everything that my right hand was doing is now being covered by my left foot, and everything my left hand was doing now has ten times more work to do. So I gotta get the fast fingers. So like. Gotta get it nice and fast, and I'm gonna just learn how to do all my grooves again, like blues grooves, jazz grooves, rock grooves, everything. So, um, I'm learning, and uh, if anybody has any ideas out there, um, throw them my way. I'm always willing to hear them. Um, just started doing this, so I'd love to know from the guys who are doing it for a while. So, I'm
Thank you.